Alright Demon Slayer fans, and welcome to another episode, but before we start the video, I am seriously telling you to watch till the end of this video because Demon Slayer is officially going to surpass Attack on Titan, because everything is about to change from here on out, so, in its last episode, we saw that Muzan got the whole map of the Demon Slayer's stronghold and Nakami had scouted out mostly all of the Demon Slayers, which means that shit is about to get real and the large-scale war is about to happen, and at that time Tanjiro was training under Gaomi, and he had told to move the boulder up to 350 feet, that was his last task for the training, and Tanjiro did it, he moved the boulder, but midway he felt like if he gets distracted even for a second, he will lose his foothold, that's why he used all ounces of his body to keep the boulder moving, and Inosuke got fired up to follow Tanjiro and moved his boulder as well. But the guy with lack of confidence got a message from his sparrow from someone, then, Tanjiro moved the boulder for 350 feet to complete his training task, but doing so has opened the gates of heaven for him because he didn't drink water and got dehydrated, so in the last moment he remembers everyone, but Gaomi stops him from going to heaven and gave him water to drink, Gaomi saw Tanjiro completed his training and told him that he made the right choice back in the swordsmith village by protecting the villagers first instead of his demon sister. That is why Tanjiro should be proud of himself, but Tanjiro said he doesn't deserve this, it was. Nazuko who made that decision that's why it's wrong that he acknowledges him. Gaomi remembers his past and thought how weak and innocent kids lie and have no hesitation for being cruel, but Tanjiro is different from others, and their Tanjiro says he gets the help of everyone which keeps him from going astray and that day was the close call, but no matter what Gaomi still acknowledges him and told him about his past, that years ago he used to raise orphans at a temple. Kids were also obedient and Gaomi had gotten dried fish from a vendor who failed to sell it, so he tells everyone to thank that person who gave them this. There a little kid named Seo offers her fish to Gaomi because he was skinny, but Gaomi told her he has gone through hard training so hunger doesn't bother him, she was such a sweet child and shared sweets moments like this, but remember this neck band guy on your right, he's a fucking asshole, one day he didn't return home on time and so he was chased down by a demon, and just to save himself, he offered the kids from the orphanage. Gaomi knew about the demons, so he always burns the wisteria flower incense to keep the demons away, but that night that fucker blows off all the incense for that demon, and he killed four children in a flash of his arrival, so Gaomi told others to stay behind him, but in panic, they tried to leave and died, Gaomi couldn't do anything because he was blind, and Tanjiro also never realized that he doesn't have light in his eyes. Anyways, only Seo listened to him and stayed behind him, and to save her, Gaomi fought the demon and started beating the heck out of him with just his bare hands. At that time Gaomi discovered how strong he was and he kept punching the demon in his head until morning, after that, some police and villagers came and what did Seo tell them, that Gaomi is a monster and killed everyone, that demon had turned into ash on sunrise, and he at least understood that Seo was only four years old, so she was terrified, but still, Gaomi wished to hear at least a thank you from her that he fought for her, Gaomi could have died for these charges, but Kagaya saved him, and from then on, Gaomi never trusted kids because they always runs away. But Tanjiro never did and proved him wrong, that is why Gaomi made up his mind to train Tanjiro and tells him to be proud of himself. With that training with Gaomi was over, but Genya was still here, he says Gaomi introduced him to Shinobu after hearing that he could eat demons, and she kept checking his physical condition, but she always gives him a hard time, then Tanjiro said he's going to Geyu after this but Genya had yet to complete his training, so he has to stay behind, so first Tanjiro visited Zenitsu to give him his share of lunch, and Zenitsu wishes him luck for his next training session, he said do what he wants and he'll do what he's supposed to do, he looked serious so Tanjiro left the food there and goes off, but Zenitsu wasn't joking this time, well I know what happened to him to be this pissed off, but I won't spoil the fun with spoilers, so, animation here was insane and Tanjiro was on his way to Geyu, but when he arrived, he saw the water and wind were clashing together, but all the training paid off because Tanjiro was able to follow their movement. Their Sanemi was as usual going nuts whenever he fight, but Geyu was also keeping his cool, and the fight ends up in a draw, yet Sanemi wants to fight to the death. 
But Tanjiro drops in to stop him because he thought Sanemi is fighting for Red Bean Machi, bro should stop right now, but Tanjiro still proceeds that when he was training with him, he smelled Red Bean Machi from him so he just thought, but that top level secret was published and for that Tanjiro got a knockout punch, that's why bro woke up after a while when Sanemi took off in anger, but at least Geyu now knows how to befriend the beast, so he thought of keeping a red bean in his pocket, well, good luck with that, because the beast was seriously pissed off from this, so he wanted to vent out his anger by fighting with Abanai or Machiro, but both were away for some reason, so it makes him even more angry and the cause of it this time was none other than Tanjiro, and suddenly bro caught the fly of Nakami and right away it turned to ash, so Sanemi understood right away that they are infiltrated, and at that time a main was beside Kagaya to take care of him, and the climax that will change everything happened, because Muzan is walking down the path of his mansion, at this time, Demon Slayer made history by making the coldest arrival of a villain and Kagaya also felt that Mr. Muzan has arrived at his door to meet him, just look at this cold walk, and even without eyes, Kagaya knows he's here and Muzan finally meet Kagaya, so the future is going to be devastating no joke, and to watch that, like the video and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any of my updates. But if you haven't seen previous episodes of the anime, then the playlist link is in the description, please check it out to understand the story, until then, take care.